Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rob Johnson. Another case of alleged police misconduct caught on video, and it's turning up the heat on the embattled Cook County State's Attorney. Pam Zeckman and the Better Government Association have new details tonight. Pam. Erica and Rob, the Linwood Police Department in, in officer involved in this case has already been fired, and the victim has been paid a half million dollars. But now we've learned the Cook County State's Attorney's Office has had videotaped evidence of the incident for over two years. We first showed you this video of Sergeant Brandon Fredrickson closest to the camera shoving a handcuffed Randolph Holmes against a door. And Holmes says this video shows how the officer broke his nose and gave him a concussion. He turned around and hit me with his elbow like this and I fall to the ground and he punched me multiple times. It took an FOIA Freedom of Information Act request on your part for those tapes to come out. Had they been handled properly when the state's attorney reviewed them initially, Mr. Holmes should have been set free, and Mr. Fredrickson is the person who should have been sitting in a jail cell, and to this day he is not. And now we have this new video from the Sauk Village Police Department. Holmes was taken there that night for fingerprinting. Montgomery says it shows Fredrickson demonstrating what happened with Holmes to his brother, a Sauk Village cop. He shows his fist coming forward, and then he shows himself buckling at the knees as Holmes did after Holmes received that sucker punch. Montgomery believes Fredrickson should be charged with battery and misconduct for trying to cover it all up. When you don't prosecute situations like this, you're giving effectively the police permission to do it again. You are telling the good people around him who work with him, don't waste your time blowing the whistle on him because nothing's going to happen. The head of the BGA says that also erodes public confidence in police. In this Linwood case, this feels a lot like a mini version of what we see in Chicago, a police department failing to do the right thing with an incident involving one of its officers and the state's attorney's office dragging its feet interminably. For God's sake, two years? That's ridiculous. That's a miscarriage of justice, regardless of how it comes out now. The state's attorney's office denies that the investigation has taken too long, saying delays were caused in part by Holmes' civil suit and his more recent arrest for attempted murder in an unrelated case. Holmes' battery charge for spitting on Fredrickson was dismissed. Fredrickson admits he struck Holmes, but says it was justified to stop Holmes from spitting on him again. He denies talking about the case in that Sauk Village video. And Robin Erica, he is appealing the dismissal from the Linwood Police Department. So when we talk about these delays with the state's attorney, now that civil suit has been settled, so are they saying that they're close to the end of their investigation after two years? It was settled a while ago, but now they are saying that they expect to bring charges or decide not to bring charges in the near future. All right. Thank you, Pam.